That is such a hard name for me to say, apparently. Yanxiang. Yanxiang. Yang Yang pressure on, and that should just be it. First blood to Doggo. Well, I mean, you just walked up to see Hacker taking his Gromp. He's probably okay for able to, to try and break away from that. Not entirely sure what I've seen there. It's, uh, looks like there's a potential gank angle coming in onto Yukai. But there are a bunch of people in the oh, area. They no. interrupt the Valkyrie. That should just be it. The lockdown is coming in. The permafrost connects. And a kill goes over to WE. Mark now just making his way out. Getting jumped onto. Has to burn the flash. You can see the ultra prime. They are sticking around. They've stopped the recall again as Wayward is laning with Mark under the time. Yeah, they're going in for the immediate hook. The slicing maelstrom comes out. Doggo finds himself caught, but there is the ultimate from the Zyra. That's one already picked up by Doggo. Do you see Fofo roaming over? Hacker comes in for the flash. The culling comes out, and Nikit is just going to eat the vast majority of this. They catch the roots as well onto Fofo, who flashes forward, looking for Nikit, able to secure himself the kill. Yukai able to just about break away from that one on the two-shot barrage. One of the important games um, in the group stage as well was because of Doggo's misposition. Gotta pull it off. Oh, the crocodile will get spotted out by this pink ward. Remember, Doggo, most of the gold is sitting on him. There's the ultimate pop by Chin Chian, just trying to get himself onto the back. The slicing Maelstrom actually does keep a connection onto just the one. Oh, gets popped by Doggo. Kill already goes over to the side of WE and somehow they answer back out with the Ignite, a one for one. The Herald secured as well. Ultra Prime ultimately going to be happy with that one. Catch on to the Zyra. They get themselves everything down. The Slicing Maelstrom does connect, and that's going to be one for Fofo already. Trying to put some pressure onto the rest of the team. Doggo able to avoid and evade a lot of this damage in this time. The Baron's going to get started up, and it is going down very quickly. Nicket will spot out that this is going on. Hacker makes his way over, but I just think they're a little bit too slow to the play. They're going to try and turn on Mark and see if they can just win the fight off the back of it. Mark going incredibly low. Death Charge hits onto Wayward. They do connect on to Qin Qian just to lock him in place. Hook makes his connection onto Yang Xiang as well, and Doggo should be able to secure that one. Nope, it's a double kill for your guy. <laughs> Taking that one away from his ADC, but they're corky. Very much online, and they trade Baron for two kills. They're going to be able to take this mid tower as well. They do actually throw down the solar flare. Strangle Fawns come out as an answer. There's Chang Tian on the flank. Massive slicing maelstrom from Hayward, but he's not going to be able to survive. Up have been turning this fight around. WE are left limping away. Fofo, relatively strong right now, but he is the only damage dealer up and available. Nicket. Trying to put the damage in, but Yukai comes over the wall. Oh. The hook makes the connection, and Yukai secures the kill. Prime turned it around after WE over push, and suddenly Al got the ult burning away, and he is just melting through Hellfire's wayward. Jumps in, doesn't really get much of a lockdown though, as Hacker secures one kill. Fofo incredibly low. Doggo just going in for the tidy up. Mark can't do anything. A double kill goes over to Yokai. Hacker trying to find the lockdown, gets the Zonyas off, and in comes Doggo. Down goes Abel. Ultra Prime take everybody but one out, and they are not done yet. Yang Zhang just trying to break away, but he's not going to be able to do so. Ultra Prime inside the base. They find that ace. They find everything they need. Towers will crumble to this team. Ultra Prime go one up in the series. Ultra Prime are not done just. Oh, he's level one. He can try and soak up this wave. Ching Tian's going to soak up that W and try and make sure that he can get some damage reduction. But he does it too early, loses the mind game. Now he has no damage reduction. He'll die for free. The ignite. That might be him in a little bit of danger. Goes in for the flash. They're trying to keep the damage on. Abel's taking tower shots. He goes down. I mean, no he's flash. getting no so flash. many. Mark's going to have to go away, but no flash available. They're stacking it up. Doggo secures himself the kill. I mean,. Ultra Prime. What's up, dog? He's absolutely taking them out. Trying to survive this one. One versus four. That, I mean, <laughs> that's not going to happen. That's never going to happen. But he did He did his work. But he's not in lane versus Doggo. Now Ultra Prime so sending multiple people up towards the top side. We could see a potential dive coming in from this one. as. Uh, God. You have the bailout. You have a lot of power here. Fofo's coming, but I think he might be late. Oh, the strangle form combo with the hostile takeover. Two kills. Goes to Yokai immediately. Nick actually flushes the wall. Doggo comes over as well. Fofo taking so much damage as they secure a triple kill onto their Corky. You thought the Callista was a problem. Now the Corky's a problem too. 
Does have that all out, doesn't uh -oh. have the flash. And the other, okay, coming it's coming in. Coming. Can he do anything here? He can't do anything. Trying to press the buttons, gets the knock back on the multiple members. Forces the flash, the break goes down. No way! One versus four. This could get really nasty really quickly. Tian has the all out available to him. They do get the lockdown onto multiple members. They do get a Brando off in response though, but the hostile takeover by so much space. Doggo finally goes down and Fofo gets the shutdown in his pocket. That I'm gonna be going, getting into position for those kill combos more easily. Here comes oh. the teleport. Let's see if that skill combo comes through now. Ultra Prime a little slow on their teleport, but Wayward gets handshaked backwards. The strangle forward connects onto Mark. Mark knocked up. They get himself the all out as well. Mark on the run, but he has nowhere to go. Bopped back. And that's the second kill picked up. But oh, wow, the brand damage is huge. Hacker's eating all of it. Doggo walked it in and almost got his, he got his jungle killed. Bad positioning there by Ultra what? Prime, and they may get punished heavily for this. Nicket has the bailout. They do have that hostile takeover. Reteleport coming back in. This has to be really, really well played by Ultra Prime. It looks like they've been able to get out. You can see Doggo with the empowered recall from that Herald from earlier. See why he brought he was brought up to this roster. His combo there, forcing Ultra Prime to very slowly retreat. Gets the handshake off, gets called back by the Fates cool, jumps in. Throws down the ultimate, goes a little bit wide. Mark's eating a lot of damage from Doggo. Doggo's able to get it. They're chasing him forwards. They get the knock back in. There's going to be the steal. Abel's taken out, but ultimately does sacrifice his life. And that should just be the dragon secured for the enemy team. Ren stacks. The wayward Dominus is about to wear out. There's going to be the Ren stacks. There's going to be the soul secured for the side of Ultra Prime and two major ultimates. But up, WE lose themselves an inhibitor and they lose themselves the soul. They were Making sure the Cassante rejoins into the fray. He's going to try and chase forward. Does get caught by the brand Q. Is going to get caught by the Zenith Blade as well. Oh, but he just no. steals Mark underneath the tower. And that's another kill in the pocket of Doggo. Able trying to dash away. Is able to do so. Suddenly, Wayward finds Niket. But Niket is quite comfortably keeping the pressure up. Hacker flashes forward. Puts down the strangle fawns. The slows are there. In comes the Pokeball. Niket jumps forward. Gets the ultimate onto two. But trades out. Able's able to get one. He may look for a second. Wayward slices and dices forwards for the kill. But Yokai, he has the damage. He has the power to push forward and take down the members standing in front of him. Probably just being the final nail in the coffin for the side of WE is Wayward just making his way out. They catch two with the hostile takeover as well. Does look like Abel's trying to do oh, his again. best to save, but he flashes forward, gets himself this steal as well. Double kill, picked up onto Gasante, knocked back into the pocket of Yulkai. He secures himself a double kill, and that is it. Ultra Prime 2.